Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the inverse property of multiplication. Simply put, when we think of the inverse property of multiplication, we need to think, what can we multiply something by to get 1? So for the inverse property of multiplication, any number multiplied by its multiplicative inverse will equal 1. Now a multiplicative inverse is also known as a reciprocal. Let's jump into number 1 and take a look at what multiplicative inverses, also known as reciprocals, are, starting with A where we have 2. Now the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 2 is going to be what we can multiply 2 by to equal 1. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite 2 in fractional form. Now we can write any whole number in fractional form by putting it over 1. Now let's flip that fraction to get the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal, meaning Let's take the denominator, and that's our numerator now, and then the numerator will be the denominator. So the multiplicative inverse of 2 is 1 half. Now let's multiply 2 by 1 half to show that it will equal 1. So 2, and I'm going to keep it in fractional form, times 1 half. When we multiply fractions, we go straight across. That's why I kept 2 in fractional form. That way, we can multiply the numerators and denominators, so top numbers and bottom numbers. Let's start with the numerators, so the top numbers. 2 times 1 equals 2. Now for the denominators, the bottom numbers. 1 times 2, that equals 2 as well. So we get 2 over 2 which is 1. So the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. Let's move on to B where we have a fraction, 1 fourth. The multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 1 fourth is, well, let's flip this fraction. So the denominator is now the numerator and the numerator is now the denominator. So the multiplicative inverse is 4 over 1, which is 4. Now let's multiply to show that this will equal 1. So we will do 1 fourth times 4. 1 fourth times 4. And I will keep 4 in fractional form. That way we can multiply straight across. Let's start with the numerators, the top numbers. 1 times 4, that equals 4. Now for the denominators, the bottom numbers. 4 times 1, that equals 4 as well. So we get 4 over 4, which equals 1. So the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4. Let's move on to number 2, where we will take a look at a general overview of the inverse property of multiplication. We have two parts. We have a whole number and a fraction. Let's start with the whole number. So we have a times what equals 1. Now a can be anything. So this is an overview of the inverse property of multiplication if we're starting with a whole number. Let's find the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of a. So let's put a in fractional form by putting it over 1. Then we can flip that fraction. We get 1 over a. So a times 1 over a equals 1. Let's multiply to show that that is true. So a, and I will put it in fractional form, that way we can multiply straight across, times 1 over a. Let's start by multiplying the numerators. a times 1 equals a. The denominators, 1 times a, equals a as well. So we end up with a over a, which equals 1. So the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of a is 1 over a. And that's the inverse property of multiplication.
Let's move on to the second part of this problem where we have a fraction, 1 over a. So this is going to be an overview of the inverse property of multiplication when we start with a fraction. Let's find the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 1 over a. So 1 over a, flip this fraction, and we get a over 1, which is just a. So the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 1 over a is a. Let's multiply to show that this equals 1. So 1 over a times a, and I will put a in fractional form. That way we can multiply straight across, starting with the numerators. So 1 times a is a. Now for the denominators, a times 1 equals a as well. a over a is just 1. So the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 1 over a is a. And that's another example of the inverse property of multiplication. Let's move on to numbers 3, 4, and 5 and take a look at more examples of the inverse property of multiplication. We are going to need to find the multiplicative inverses or reciprocals and multiply by them to get 1. Let's start with number 3 where we have 8 times what equals 1. We need to find the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 8. So let's write 8 in fractional form and flip that fraction. 1 eighth is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. So 8 times 1 eighth equals 1. Now let's multiply to show that that does equal 1. So 8, and I'm writing it in fractional form, that way we can go straight across, times 1 eighth. Let's start by multiplying the numerators. So 8 times 1, that equals 8. Now for the denominators, 1 times 8, that equals 8 as well. So we get 8 over 8, which equals 1. Let's move on to number 4, where we have negative 5 times what equals 1. So we are starting with a negative. Let's find the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of negative 5. So let's write negative 5 in fractional form, and then we can flip this fraction. And we get negative 1 fifth. So the multiplicative inverse of negative 5 is negative 1 fifth. And it's important that we have that negative there because a negative times a negative gives us a positive, and we need a positive 1. Let's multiply and show that this equals a positive 1. So we have negative 5, and I will put it in fractional form, times negative 1 fifth. Now there are different ways to write negative fractions. I'm going to keep the negative signs with the numerators in that multiplication problem just to keep it consistent. So now we can multiply straight across. And again, we have a negative times a negative, so this is going to equal a positive. Let's start with the numerators, negative 5 times negative 1, that equals a positive 5. Now for the denominators, 1 times 5 equals 5. So we get 5 over 5, which equals 1. So negative 1 fifth is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of negative 5. We multiply those two to equal 1. Let's move on to number 5 where we have 3 tenths times what equals 1. Let's start by finding the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 3 tenths. So let's flip this fraction and we get 10 thirds. So 10 over 3. 10 thirds is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 3 tenths. Let's multiply to show that these equal 1. So 3 tenths times 10 thirds. Let's multiply straight across, starting with 
the numerators. 3 times 10 equals 30. Now for the denominators. So 10 times 3, that equals 30 as well. So we get 30 over 30, which equals 1. So there you have it. There's the inverse property of multiplication and how we find multiplicative inverses, also known as reciprocals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.